Now in this video, we are gonna be looking at how you can stand to the golf ball. We are taking you through all the basic steps that you need to become a good golfer. Make sure you check out this playlist here for all the other videos featured in this series. When you are standing to the golf ball, there are several factors that you need to pay attention to. And it's well worth forming a little bit of a tick list and to go through them to make sure you have a consistent way of approaching the golf ball. The first thing to consider is your golf clubs are gonna be of different lengths. The driver is gonna be the longest, that has the biggest head and has the potential to hit the ball the furthest. And it goes down the set as the lofts get higher, so they point towards the sky a little bit more. They are gonna be the shortest clubs in your bag. But no matter the length of the club, there are a couple of simple rules that you can follow. You want to allow enough room between your legs and the butt end of the club to be able to just waft a hand. You don't want to be getting too close and too cramped in this position. So from a driver to a sand wedge, you just want to be allowing that room. Now you can see there is a big difference in the length of these clubs. The driver, you are going to be standing further away from the ball, whilst the wedges, you are going to be standing a lot closer. All those clubs in between will vary depending on the length of the club remember that key rule. Now, posture is the term used to how you stand over the golf ball. I'm using a six iron here, but this rule pretty much applies to all the clubs in your bag. If you stand with your legs straight and you allow that little bit of room in between the butt end of the club and your legs, you'll be about the right amount of length away from the ball. From that point, stand yourself up nice and tall. You don't want to be rigid like you stood at attention, but you just want to be nice and straight. Take the club and extend it out in front of the body level with the belt buckle. You can see how my arms are extended, but they're also relaxed. I'm not putting them bolt out like this. Now we want to use our hips to pivot the body forwards. So from the hips, tilt until the club touches the ground behind the ball. Separate the feet, give a little bit of flex of the knees. You want to feel athletic. You want to feel ready. You don't want to feel too sat. You don't want to feel too rigid. You want just in the middle with the weight on the balls of your feet. Now we are going to be talking about ball position in the next video. But you'll notice here how my right arm sits a little bit lower than my left. If you are a left-handed golfer, you can switch this round. Now this drops my right shoulder slightly lower than the left. This gives me a natural spine angle. So if you feel that you're tilted a little bit away from the ball, don't worry. This could be putting you in actually quite a nice position. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do want to check out the rest of this series, make sure you click here. Save this video as well. And please feel free to share it with anyone who might be starting their golfing journey.